determine if the sequence converges or diverges. And if it converges, find the limit. So uh, the first step is going to be to uh, figure out what the cosine of n pi is. So let's go ahead and carefully go through that. So if you plug in 1, you get um, cosine of pi, which is just negative 1. If you plug in 2, you get cosine of 2 pi, which is 1. If you plug in 3, we get the cosine of 3 pi, which is negative 1. If you plug in 4, starting to see a pattern now, you get cosine of 4 pi, which is 1. So it looks like whenever n is odd, we're going to get negative 1. And whenever n is even, we're going to get 1. So the cosine of n pi is really just negative 1 to the n. Because when n is even, you get negative 1 to an even power, which is 1. When n is odd, you get negative 1 to an odd power, which is negative 1. So we can rewrite our sequence as n times negative 1 to the n. And now you see that as n approaches infinity, that's what we're supposed to do, right? Take the limit as n goes to infinity. And so if we get a number, we say it converges. If we don't, it diverges. So as n approaches infinity, n approaches infinity. And this piece oscillates back and forth. So this, is, this quantity is not approaching anything. So this limit does not exist. Therefore, the sequence diverges. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.